example of this. We've never had a year like this. Quickly, where do things stand? About a week ago, about 10 days ago, the New York Times had an electrifying poll. It was a national poll. Trump and Biden were running even 43% to 43% among registered voters, meaning voters more likely to vote. This was a bit of a shock to the political class in Washington who tend to think Mr. Trump will likely win the Republican nomination, but not the election, because Trump, being uniquely polarizing, is the only person on the Republican side who can be counted on reliably to unite the Democratic Party and bring all of their voters to the polls. Here, I think, there is a big question at the heart of all this stuff. It is, why is this race looking so close? You know the first answer. The first answer is, at the end of the day, this nation is split down the middle. It's divided into more or less left, more or less right. In a presidential election, the two sides come out for their side. That's where you got to start. We're divided to begin with. Still, I got a very arresting text message the other day from an old friend, a conservative, a businessman, who was thinking aloud. He texts me when he's got a thought. He said, why is Biden lagging? Inflation has gone from 9% to just more, a little more. Inflation has gone from just more than 9% to just more than 3%. Unemployment is at 3.5%, which is functional full employment. Gasoline is cheaper than a year ago. It's going up a little at the moment, but it's cheaper than a year ago. The stock market looks pretty solid. It's rising. Um, we got through the pandemic in one piece. He said, why isn't Biden doing better? I think that is a good question. It's really at the heart of things. And my answer after the obvious one of split electorate is this. I'm going to give you a few points in equal order. We just all have to admit it. Joe Biden's age is an issue. The sense he slipped or slowed the past few years, noticeably, I think, since he was elected. This suggests to people he's not maybe fully in charge. It gives an almost mysterious cast to his administration. Who is in charge? When you're a reporter in Washington, you read the president's daily schedule. It comes out in the morning, or actually the night before, and it tells you what the president's going to do the next day. Joe Biden's is very light, consistently. You know who else's was light? Donald Trump. Before that, presidents had heavy schedules. I call it presidenting. You know when you show up and do what presidents do? Last two presidents, they haven't done as much presidenting as the previous presidents. Um, so anyway, who's in charge? How does that White House operate inside? Age as an issue is a problem because old age doesn't get better with time. It can't solve itself. It gets worse. Also, how is Joe Biden going to campaign? In 2020, due, his campaign said, to the pandemic, Mr. Biden campaigned from a room in his house in Wilmington, Delaware. The urgency of the pandemic now has eased. You can't campaign from the House this year. I don't think you can. What will Mr. Biden on the campaign trail look like? He'll be 81 in the fall. He would be 86 when a second term ends. 